What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna do something that I try not to do too often, which is I'm gonna get fully into cranky sysadmin mode. So there's this thing I've seen a lot of in probably the last uh, three, four years. With the advent of so many technologies that give us easy answers, I have started seeing a lot more of asking really simple questions instead of looking them up yourself. I'm not saying you're doing this, I'm saying people, people, maybe you, are doing this. Try to catch yourself when you do this. There's almost nothing worse when you're like working in a team than interrupting a team member with a question that you could have Googled yourself. The general rule is for a simple information-based question that has like a right answer that you could look up on Google or any other search engine, things like Stack Overflow, that kind of thing, and get a result with less than five minutes of searching. So that means the first several pages of search results, you read through some answers, you think to yourself, is this kind of what I'm dealing with? Does it sound similar? Are the symptoms comparable? And then you kind of move down the list and evaluate. If after that amount of time, you still have not actually come up with a question, then it starts to be permissible to interrupt somebody and take them out of flow, make them unproductive for the next half hour and ask them, hey, I'm dealing with this. And at that point, you're not asking a Googleable question anymore, unless you're better at Googling, which you should get. But at that point, you're not asking, hey, what's the flag for this command? I can't remember right now. So I'm going to fucking throw you out of flow and be a huge pain in the ass. Uh, because I'm lazy and I don't want to look things up myself. You're not doing that at that point because you've already done your part of the deal. You've done your homework. You have come up, you've had some kind of problem or question. You've done some searching about the symptoms, about the software you're dealing with, about the specific error message you're seeing. You have kind of tried to correlate maybe what's happening with what some things are that tend to cause things that look like that. You've maybe eliminated some parts of the problem space by being like, well, no, this ended up being a problem with this library and I don't have that library installed or whatever. And at that point, you can ask a much more, a much more productive question, which is less like, what does this thing do? Or what is this flag for? Or what command is, does X, Y, Z? And you can start asking things like, hey, I've got problem X and there are three symptoms that I'm seeing. I've looked, um, you know, two of them symptoms can often be caused by X doing Y and Z, but you know, I've got this other symptom and it seems to be something else. Have you ever seen anything like this? You know, I'm about to go down rabbit hole A. Um, is there something else that I should be checking or do you have experience with something like this? That is a fine question. And if you have that amount of information, you know, that's not you just being lazy. That's like you having a problem starting to figure it out, and then not wanting to waste a huge amount of time, um, which you're usually being paid very well for uh, on chasing down an answer that somebody might already have. So if that makes sense, uh, don't ask a Googleable question. Just don't do it from now on. Why I am so adamant about not taking people out of flow. When you're working on hard problems for a living, which is what you will be doing or what you already do as a sysadmin, then concentration is one of those things that is like at the core of what you do. The better you can focus and concentrate on something, the faster you can solve problems that you deal with. The problem is when you build up that kind of concentration or get into flow, that process takes a while. If you're really young and you've slept well, you know, and you haven't had any alcohol the night before, you can maybe get into flow in like 15, maybe 20 minutes. But for most of us, it's more like 45 minutes. And once you're in flow, you're extremely productive. You've got the whole problem in your head. You kind of know what you're doing and you can, you can crank, you can cruise. You can just like really work on whatever you're working on. If after say half an hour of flow, somebody comes and says, Hey, I just heard blah, blah, blah. Or how about that piggers game? Huh? Oh man. Can't believe that score or God forbid, I have a Googleable question, but I'm too freaking lazy to uh, type it in myself. So I'm going to throw it in the Slack chat or email you with it or call you with it. No one should ever be calling you. At that point, they are like wasting an hour of your time that you're going to spend 
getting back into flow. So that's just rude, uh, which is why I'm saying don't be that guy or girl. Okay, we have exercised the demon. Uh, I'm going to get back out of cranky sysadmin mode, and I promise you the next one will be much more upbeat. But that's a really important thing, and even I on this uh, YouTube channel get like comments and questions and like emails. Um, I just generally don't respond to these, but that are like, I have specific problem X. Here's three lines from the log. Help me. And it's like, no, fucking Google it, man. I'm, I'm not your personal, you know, IT service. So uh, just g going forward, don't be that guy or gal. Uh, and that alone will uh, get you some respect at work, even if you're a very junior person. All right, that's it for me. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.